friends and welcome back to the air effect if you are new here my name is christina and i run this channel because i like old books and i like vintage fashion and i want to live a slow living practical vintage lifestyle <laughs> lately i have been thinking about making more homemaking and slow living content but i've been held back because i wasn't sure how i wanted to start See, most of the motherhood, slow living, simple living channels I find are vastly different from myself in ways that are aesthetically lovely to watch, but are kind of unrelatable for me. There are a lot of wonderful slow living, romanticizing motherhood, or homemaking channels that feature minimalist, pastel, perfectly put together homes with one or two children of varying ages whose faces never seem to be dirty and whose clothes are always clean. And while there's certainly nothing wrong with that, it's just not me. And nobody really talks about the chaos of motherhood within celebrating its facets. Nobody seems to share the real mess, the unstaged piles, the not so artfully placed books, and the toys, and the half-eaten banana that always seems to manifest itself behind the couch. In considering creation of more homemaking content, I really wanted to explore what it's like to romanticize motherhood when your home is not spick and span, and your children aren't in all coordinating outfits, and your life just generally isn't picture perfect. What kind of beauty can be found here? Motherhood is a gift, which is something that I truly believe, but here in the land of those who choose to work at home as a homemaker and a mother full-time, it can also be so much that we don't talk about. It can be relentless and never-ending. Dishes that are never done, meals that always need cooking, floors that are never swept clean enough, and little people who trail after us in a blaze of needs until we are sometimes bogged down and feel resentful of this life, whether we chose it or not. Recently, I heard a message that really settled deep into my heart and vastly changed not only how I keep the house, but how I enjoy keeping house. It was this message that inspired me to finally try my hand at sharing more homemaking content. And it is that homemaking and keeping a peaceful home is a form of showing love to those that live within the home. I know all of us who are tired and overwhelmed and bogged down are equally tired and often bogged down by yet another saying about house and home, another piece of advice that makes us feel less than, another conscience pricking adage that aims directly at those of us who stay at home as parents. But something about hearing it said that how I keep my home is a form of showing love to those who live here, it changed how I feel about tidying up. I realized that I wasn't really showing love through my homemaking. 
I can show my children love in keeping their drawers full of clean clothes, the cupboards full of clean dishes for them to use, the sinks clear of mess that gets in the way, the floors tidy for them to play on. I can show my husband love with a home that feels calm and peaceful when he arrives back after a 10 hour day of work, when he has been awake since before the sky was even light. Funnily enough, this message was also heard by my husband and changed how he functions and helps in this house too. No more coming home and chaotically doing the tasks that need being done, <laughs> tossing toys into bins while grumbling, sweeping floors or vacuuming with heavy sighs and moans. He was just as convicted as I am that how we keep house is deeply entrenched in how we show each other love. None of these musings are in any way meant to make any of you feel as though you must suddenly keep a tidy home if you love your family. That is far from the case. We are all allowed to have messy homes, chaotic children, and imperfect lives. Mess is a sign that people live there and are loved there. We are all allowed to be tired or annoyed or just overwhelmed. There's nothing wrong with being any of those things. I wanted to share mostly because it's something that I had never really considered and it makes repetitive tasks a little less tiring when I consider that the hands I use to do the laundry are smoothing love into every fold, the fingers that wrinkle from doing the dishes are wiping love into every plate, the constant picking up is teaching my children lovingly to follow my example as they watch and help and to treat others as I treat them. I'm certainly never going to love cleaning. Some days the repetitive tasks overwhelm me to the point that I just don't do anything. And sometimes busyness gets in the way and our house becomes chaotic. It's only just now getting to a point that I feel I can keep it tidy daily, if I'm honest. But reminding myself that every task is a show of love somehow makes it a little bit easier to do. I used to feel so much guilt for never having a perfectly clean home. One of the reasons I've always loved making cleaning routines is that I've been searching for that magic routine that would just suddenly stick and I could be that person with the beautiful home. <laughs> And I want to say right here that if you are also struggling and feel as though your home is always over full and overwhelming you, you are not alone. But you should never feel guilty. Mess is a morally neutral thing. It does not make you any better or any worse of a person to have mess, especially when you are literally keeping other people alive and safe and well. The point here is not that you or I should be wearing ourselves to the bone to have a clean home. The point is to share what's helped me find a better way to function. What I didn't realize in pursuing a clean home and a magic routine was that the magic isn't in the routine. It's within myself. As cheesy as it sounds, the magic was very simply love. 
Love for my family, love for my home, and love for myself. Again, I don't want anyone to feel guilt over hearing this. Your mess does not mean that you don't love your family, and I am the last person to apply guilt to those of us, myself included, who feel like sometimes they're just drowning and there's no way out of the mess and nobody has ever really told them how to get out of it. I hope instead this can be the hand that is offered to you in some small way to be there with you as we both find our way in the complexity of homemaking. I realize now that one of the reasons I and so many others love cleaning and homemaking videos is that it lets us know we are not alone. We are not alone in the piles and never-ending dishes and the floors that always need sweeping and the mismatched socks that somehow took over that one chair in the living room. We are not alone in the daily repetitive tasks that are never-ending and overwhelming and that maybe sometimes we just really don't want to do. I hope you'll join me this year in slowing down and finding ways to romanticize motherhood, even if none of us have that perfectly decorated, pastel, always clean home. There is still beauty in the chaos. As always, my friends, if you would like to support my channel in more ways than liking and subscribing and commenting, all of which are very wonderful and supportive ways to be, you can check out my Ko-Fi link in the description down below or my merch store. I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved and a little bit calmer. And until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye!